Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a spirit message for Sign of Taurus, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing, Taurus, is we also have gems, crystals, and rough stones, which will also be in the description down below. What I'm currently holding is pink opal. So if you're interested in stuff like this, that'll be in the description down below. Okay. So, Taurus, have a look at your current situation here. We have the Seven of Wands. Look at this. Taurus, it feels like you're... You're moving forward. Alright? It's like you're gaining clarity here about situations, things that you've been through in life, and it's, it's allowing you to move forward. Allowing you to push ahead. We have the Six of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. The Hangman. Four of Pentacles. Yes, Taurus. You've gained clarity here. You've gotten a new perspective over something, some situation in your life, and it's allowed you to move forward. What did I just say? It's all off of one card, and that's more of just feeling, Taurus. Anyway, Six of Swords. Now you're able to change. Now you're able to shift into a new energy. You have Spirit, which has pushed you into this direction. This was something that was meant to happen into your life. Okay, Taurus. New beginnings, new horizons are coming up ahead for you. On the bottom of the deck, for what's coming towards you, you have the Ten of Cups. Look at this, Taurus. This is emotional happiness. This is emotional fulfillment. That is what's coming up for you. It's a joyful time. You have the World. You have the Knight of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Yes, Taurus. You are getting clarity on how you move forward here in your life. You are also releasing something that was quite draining to you. It can be a person, someone who is sending you thoughts your way that were not right. And they did this intentionally, Taurus. You're saying no to that. You're moving ahead, you're rebirthing here, going on into this new beginning. Alright. You're getting control here. Messages for you. We have number 29, She Rests to Create. So Taurus, what this talks about is resting, but you're also creating. Manifesting with your mind, Taurus. You don't always need to push yourself, okay? There is need for you to take rest. You're going to manifest through your mind. Number four, with focus. Yeah, focus, Taurus. Have focus. All right, don't allow this Seven of Cups kind of scattered energy. Really focus on your goals and what you want. Clarity, what were we talking about? Clarity. Yes. You're gaining clarity here. Taurus, we have number 39. Nines are very important. For your fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So you can look at this chakra and this angel to learn more about that. However, fifth chakra is the throat chakra. Okay, that's opening up for you. Communication. Okay, Taurus, and you also have this angel around you, guiding you. Number 29. Again. The aqua means star. Expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. Look at this. Expressing yourself with self-confidence, Taurus. Expressing how you feel, like, intuitively, more confidently. Throat chakra. That is why that's being opened. So that you can do that. And look at this. The number 29 is quite important for you. Number 29. The sound, sound the fierce flute.
Discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your spiritual intentions. Like a fierce sounding flute cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent, your discernment allows you to stay true to your values and spiritual destiny without getting caught up in distraction. If you wish to grow spiritually through love, joy, peace, and abundance, then discerning between higher and lower vibrational choices is helpful yet. Yeah, discerning. Use your discernment to... Like, you have a lot of options coming up ahead for you, Taurus. A lot of opportunities, a lot of offers, okay? And it's up to you tapping into your intuition and into your thoughts on what is the right path for you, on what is the most highest vibrational um, path, choice, okay? So take a moment before you just rush into decisions, which I feel like you are going to do. You're not just going to, you know... <laughs> Do something very irrational. So, Taurus, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more content, don't really subscribe. Like this.